Hi, welcome back. Today's recipe is called banana oat muffins. It's based off a recipe that I found online called love to be in the kitchen.com and it is super delicious. Don't be scared with all the ingredients that I'm showing on the table. That's what makes it delicious. So let me show you how I make it. Let's get started. So one of the first things you're going to do is pour the oats in the mixing bowl and then we're going to add the almond milk into the bowl and we're going to stir until it's all completely mixed and then after that's done we are going to set a timer and it's going to be for 30 minutes. That's how long we're going to let it soak. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the other steps that we need to do to make this delicious muffin. Now we're going to spray the liners with cooking spray and turn the oven on to 400 degrees. As we're waiting, we're gonna go ahead and mix all the dry ingredients together. So it's the flour and the little plate full of spices. We're going to put them all together. And we're going to whisk it. And all we have left is waiting for the timer to go off. Now it's time to mix all the wet ingredients together. So you have the brown sugar, the mashed bananas, egg whites, honey, oil, and vanilla. I just wish that the honey was more cooperative and actually coming out of the bowl because it's so sticky. And this is what it looks like all mixed together. So now we're going to add the flour. With the flour, we're going to pour a little into the bowl and then we're going to stir it. And do it again, a little into the bowl. Stir some more. Until it's all just mixed together. This step is optional. If you want pecans, you can add pecans. Or if you want walnuts, you can add that. Or if you don't want any kind of nut in there, that's fine too. So you're just gonna fold it in and it's time to prepare the muffins. These muffins are not going to rise high at all, but it is going to be very thick. So I'm using 1 4th cup of the mix and putting it in each of the liners. Here they are, all filled up, and there's even enough for two more, so it's a total of 14 muffins. And here they are after 24 minutes. As proof, I'm going to insert a knife and as you can see, it's clean on both sides. It is ready to eat. And this is why we spray the liner, because when it's time to eat it, it comes off clean. Enjoy. 